imagine you step in an elevator and someone asks what's up with human activity and global warming? Well, the first thing about climate warming is that the physical basis, we've known it for centuries. This is nothing new in the science of climate change today. You bring more CO2, more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, it warms it up. It's undisputable. It's very solid physics. The science is looking at the impact of that on the climate, the impact on humans, the impact on sea level, the impact on precipitation. It's going to be the impact on food production. It's going to be the impact on where people live. Pretty serious impacts. It's going to be impact on biodiversity, which in my opinion is even bigger than sea level rise, right? The, the decay of species. In the end, what we're saying, what most of the science is saying is this changing occurring very fast. We're on a very fast train heading for the wall and that's not good. So we have to change, we have to change the way we live. And I often say it's, uh, it's common sense. Right? We didn't leave the Stone Age because we, we ran out of stone. We have, we have to leave the oil age because oil, burning oil is not good for the climate, it's not good for us. Uh, but it's a huge shift in our society. It's, uh, it's a huge shift in the way we live. Um, it's not going to take a few scientists uh, raising the red flag to make this happen. It has to be a big social movement where everybody says, hey, uh, we want to stop this. And my only hope right now that this is going to happen is the new generation, the young people from 20 to 30, uh, because I think they're more sensitive to this. Uh, they don't want this kind of, uh, of, of world down the line. And they probably are the first generation who can actually change it. They have the power to change it. I hope they take it. I hope they take it.